Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute honour to introduce the one and only Artemis Fowl, Ferdia Shaw. How are you doing, Ferdia? Good, good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, my friend. It's uh, It's been a long old time coming, but the movie's finally out, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you excited to see it? A lot of delays. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Were you excited to see it? Because I understand you watched it this morning, huh? Yeah, yeah. I um, just sat down with my mates and, uh, yeah, they all really enjoyed it. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Excellent news. So you were a, a fan of the books before getting the role, weren't you? Um, what, what was it like? Taking yeah, total fun. I'd, I'd read all of them before I even went for the role. Um, oh, it was, wow. was kind of like the reason that I actually went for it because I knew the character. I wasn't really reading it off a of script. Um, I knew his background, so I was much more comfortable playing him than I would have been just playing a character that I just read some lines for. I kind of knew his background. So yeah, it was, it was really nice playing him. Oh, that's good to hear, man. I know it's, um, it's, yeah. it's quite unnatural for a 12-year-old to kind of behave in that sort of cold, serious way. Um, was, it, was it hard getting into that sort of mindset? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, it was, it was sort of hard, but um, the, the crew were really, really helpful in that. Um, I had a lot of training beforehand, and Ken was great on set. You know, he, he'd let you do your own thing, and yeah. then he would just say, okay, and let's try it this way, like more serious or more kind of, um, playful with the lines or something like that. But it, yeah, he was always really helpful. With that. Oh, that's awesome. So say, say if they do decide to push ahead with a sequel, um, are there any particular scenes that you'd be super excited to do from the future books? Well, well like I, well, I would be, yeah, yeah. I, I love the second one, especially um, okay. I, in the Arctic. Um, I, I'm, I really love the third book as well. Um, the Eternity Code, and I, I love the scene at the start where he's selling it to the um, criminals, and yeah. uh, Butler dies, and he puts him in the freezer um, to keep him alive. I always thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, hopefully they do make a sequel, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. We, we absolutely will, yeah. So we, we spoke with, um, well, I spoke with Lara a few weeks ago, and she mentioned that she really enjoyed the scene where she punches you in the chops. What was your favourite scene? <laughs> <laughs> Um, that that was a really fun scene, actually. Um, just falling backwards. Uh, but I, I really liked doing all the stunt scenes, um, especially the wire work. I had one where I was hanging from a chandelier, and yeah. uh, I had to jump down just on wires. So that was really really cool. Because um, I I always envied Lara up there on her wires. Um, yeah, flying so I, I'd, I'd always wanted to do that. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, hmm. I, I loved all the scenes with Josh as well. Um, because they're all just comedies like you know he's, yeah he's ridiculous he, he ad-libs everything um so all his lines are just perfect um we were all in stitches just filming it we never thought that we were going to get a scene done um because we were having to do retake after retake after retake it was it was really good oh that's good to hear man like good good it's it's nice to hear that it was there was good banter and it was an enjoyable experience for you and it wasn't just like yeah. turning up for a job you know so what? Yeah, definitely. What, what was it like going from being just sort of a regular lad to being directed by Sir Ken and and hanging out with Judy Dench and Josh Gad? What what was it like that kind of transition? Yeah, about as crazy as you could imagine. <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty mental, like uh, yeah, yeah going, going from my my little drama piece in Kilkenny to um, filming a big Disney film. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy. You're always having to pitch yourself because it's so surreal. Um, knowing that you got the part, but yeah, um, it, like they're also experienced as well, those actors, that you really get to learn things from them as you're going along, you know, you just pick up on little hints that they show um, in their acting performances. So yeah, they're really helpful all the way through. Did you, did you get to keep anything from the set or, or should I say, did anything accidentally leave the set in your possession? <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I did get to keep a one wheel. Um, okay. which is the vehicle that Artemis rides in the film. Oh, wow. Um, it's, it's awaiting repairs at the moment because I did drive it into a gate, but it, <laughs> it, it was really, really good fun at the start. <laughs> I, I was going to say, driving it into a gate is a very, very Artemis thing to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, 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 have you been, uh, what have you been reading during quarantine? You know, have you been reading anything interesting? Yeah, tons, tons. Um, I... I actually reread the Enemy series, which is one of the best series I've ever read, um, to the standard of Artemis Fowl. And uh, yeah, th that's a really good thing to read. Also, I love Darren Shan. Um, yeah. He's another Irish author, and uh, he writes a vampire series and the demon series. Um, they're kind of in the horror genre. Um, Skullduggery Pleasant as well, um, Harry Potter, 
geez, the Ed- Young Bond series, they're all really, really good. Um, yeah. 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 What, what have you been reading, actually? Uh, so, so I've actually been in anticipation of uh, Amazon Prime's Alex Ryder series. I, I used to love the Alex Ryder. Oh, yeah. Book. Yeah. I used yeah, I love to love those writing. books when I was a kid. So um, I reread the first two books, ready to watch the show, and obviously been uh, screaming through the Artemis Fowl books again, getting ready for this. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been reading High Fire as well. Oh, um, so good, isn't it? Bio and his new adult. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good, really good. I'm really getting into it now with the characters, um, Vern and uh, Squib. They're they're really really cool. I love the way he writes that. Um, they're kind of you know. Um, yeah, well, yeah mate- it, it's it's really really good. Maybe in a few years you could go from playing Artemis Fowl to Vern the Dragon, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'd be well what, on for that. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. Do you reckon they'd do a suit or do you reckon the dragon would be CGI? <laughs> I think it would just be me, you know. I, I can look like a dragon, don't you? Then? Just, just get some green face paint on. <laughs> <laughs> so... What what can young viewers learn from Artemis? You know, what would you like the core message that kids take away from Artemis Fowl to be? I'm um, like I I really love the film, especially because of the way that it kind of it really takes the really I, I, I liked um especially the fairy world, the elements that it takes from the book. Um yeah. I think that we really captured the fairy world perfectly. Um, and I like the way that it's kind of like Artemis is fun. He's kind of like Sherlock Holmes, um, you, you know, in the way that you follow him through the story. And yeah. then at the end, there's this big reveal of how he's done it and how, how, how all the parts link in with one another. And I think that's really, really good. Um, sure. Yeah, amazing special effects. So, yeah, it, I, I think it's really good. That's good to hear. And I've got one last question for you. It's a very, very important one from the fans. Um, they, they've... Ooh. You know, they've asked me to put this to you. Would you like a lollipop? Yes. You would like a lollipop. Like lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, that's gonna, they're going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Birdie and my friend, it has been an absolute treasure meeting you. I know you've probably got an absolutely nuts day ahead of you, but thanks so much for, you know, taking yeah. 10 minutes out to have a chat with me and, you know, I wish you all the best for the future. And, I'm, you know, Disney, it, it's on Disney now. People can go and watch it right now and check you out as Artemis Fowl. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, stay brilliant. safe. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. It was really yeah, good to meet you, buddy. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Bye.